Good morning, folks. Here's an article that implies our wandering magnetic poles are going to reset and return to normal. Their timelines, however, aren't matching the current polar shift. Mercury is much more magnetically interactive with our sun than we could have ever imagined, and I like this article because their findings laugh at the standard models and explanations. No major quakes, just a few moderate tremors. It is nice to see this cool down after such a strong start to the quake watch. As you see on the right, we got a four day break in alignments. A four day break from large quakes would be nice, but the watch falters not during this time. We have a tropical depression in the South China Sea, expected to do a lot of weakening as it moves west and does make landfall in the next 36 to 48 hours. In Europe, the primary weather drivers are this southern low and the convergence north of the UK. Look how these systems move the clouds major isolated precipitation over the last 24 hours. Tropical boundary low is extended almost to the southern coast of Australia, bringing warmer air in and strengthening the difference potential. Northern New Zealand areas have thunderstorms on the way now and through the evening, threat returning to Australia leading up to the weekend. In the United States, warm air rushing north in the center, cold air streaming down in the east. Lone bit of concern is another one of these middle of the night heat blooms. We've seen a few of these before. Notice this small purple cold area just above the bloom. Well, that's a high and a relative low, nearly touching. If opposing energies meet on the sun, there's a flare. Interesting. CME impacted yesterday. You'll remember I pointed up to the red saying if the BZ tips south, we could have geomagnetic storms with this much energy. Well, it began heading that way slowly towards the end of the day, lower and lower, and just as today began, density spike in the orange, speed increase in the yellow, and below in the green, a spike in the temperature of the solar wind. That did it. Our shields couldn't stabilize. Plasma began penetrating significantly. Baseline resonance was induced by the energy entering and flowing through our system and the storm presented at mid-levels here and now is tapering off. This chart shows the flare activity surrounding the heliocentric alignments yesterday. Next set begins in three days on the 17th and another one on the 19th. But before we shut our eyes on the star, we have some major magnetic mixing in no less than five Earth-facing sunspots, including one cresting the northeastern limb. We have beta gamma regions and maybe even a delta spot or two. Despite the break in conjunctions and oppositions, there's just too much potential for instability to ignore. Darker areas north and south are mid-sized coronal holes taking turns facing Earth. Above the southern Earth-facing hole is a thin dark line extending north towards the equator. That's a plasma filament and let's hope she doesn't rip off today or tonight because she'd be headed this way. No alignments till the 17th, so maybe this flare and quake watch will get a break. Here's to hoping. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.